we have been talking and discussing about the importance of relevance and similarity between the prototype and the model uh, in the in the laboratory and their relevance how important these things are so when it comes to kinematic similarity when that is achieved at all locations the speed in the model flow is proportional to that at the corresponding locations in the prototype flow so it doesn't have to be the same speed because it cannot be done so but it has to be proportional it has to has relevance so for example in the two pictures that are shown here in the prototype the field is large the objects are large the velocity is large and in the model on which the experiments are being carried out the velocity of the model denoted by by the way the p subscript p refers to the prototype problem and m refers to the model in the laboratory on which the work is being done and the thing that is trying to show here is or argued here is that the direction of the velocity should be the same it should be proportional it need not be the same and similarly the length scales you can see the height here and the height here on this side the drag and the forces they cannot be the same but they need to be proportional in the same direction so that we can have similarity and the result in the experiments are useful for making real life or prototype product in general flow field complete similarity between a model and a prototype is achieved only when there is geometric kinematic and dynamic similarity takes place this we already we have mentioned and so i don't need to deliberate more on that there are several methods Uh, for working out the similarity for achieving the three similarities that we just mentioned and uh, one of them is uh, known as buckingham method or buckingham rule and for that we let upper case of greek alphabet uh, pi uh, you know that the number pi which is the ratio 22 by 7 is denoted by greek alphabet pi this is the small one the capital pi is shown as this and this is what we are mentioning here the capital pi we let the upper case of the greek letter pi denote a non dimensional parameter in general dimensional analysis problem there is one pi that we call the dependent pi and giving it the notation let's say y1 and obviously there will be an independent pi there will be a dependent pi the parameter pi1 is in general a function of several other pi's of course because it will be depending upon many other independent variables so they are the other pi so the dependent pi pi1 denoted here is equal to a function of several other variables denoted by pi2 pi3 pi and so on it can be as many as there to ensure complete similarity the model and prototype must be geometrically similar and all independent groups must match between model and prototype when we talk about the group we are referring to those numbers that i mentioned the reynolds number the froude number and whichever is relevant so if pi2 of the model is equal to pi2 of the prototype and so on then 
pi 1 of the model will be equal to pi 1 of the prototype. This is the rule that is required for similarity. And for example, if we are trying to make a prototype car and we want to see that as the car is moving, what do we want these days? Fuel efficiency, smooth movements, streamlined movement, minimum of drag, so that energy is used to the maximum, fuel is used to the maximum, and the wastages are minimum. The important thing here is again as shown, the velocity, the viscosity, the density. So, Reynolds number is important here. The inertial forces divided by the viscous forces because it is the friction that causes heat generation, that causes drag and so on. So, and this is of course the length scale, the scaling of the body of the what the object, whatever we are making is important. So, here is an example of geometric similarity for model car and as well as the prototype if we are working on that. The Reynolds number, as I said mentioned, comes into play here and that is equal to the ratio as shown here. So, it's important and you can see when Reynolds number is large, it is only showing that velocity is high and the viscous forces are very small and they will have negligible effect. But if viscosity is high, the velocity is small, it's a different ball game then. So, pi 1 is equal to the function of pi 2 and pi 1 here is given by the Reynolds number and so on, which is shown here to you.